Hi, Tony Barada here. Today, I wanted to talk to you about product liability. Uh, product liability law intends to protect persons who have been hurt by a dangerous product. We use products in everything that we do in life, and we rely upon the people who make those products, who are selling those products, who are making money from those products, to make them safe for their intended use. So, if a person is using a product in the way it has been intended, and yet they become seriously injured, well then, there is a potential claim that that person may have against the manufacturer and seller of that product. Uh, for example, you know, the, let's give you the example of one case I handled uh, of a medical device manufacturer who made um, a shaver. It was a, a shaver used in, in surgery by orthopedic surgeons. Uh, so this shaver is used to do things like uh, remove uh, meniscal tears in the knee. Uh, and the shaver uh, is designed to be used in an operating suite. So uh, I represented a client uh, in which the shaver broke off in her knee. Uh, and as a result of trying to retrieve uh, the broken off piece of shaver, the woman suffered a severe injury uh, when she had gone into the hospital with merely a torn meniscus. A manufacturer who makes any product uh, must make it safe for its intended use. Uh, if there are things that, such as hazards uh, that are identified, like the shaver isn't strong enough to withstand the forces of surgery, then the design, the, the manufacturer, the designer of this product has an obligation to design out that hazard. If they can't design out the hazard, maybe they say, well, you know, we can't make this shaver work as effectively if we make it uh, of a stronger nature such that it won't break. Well, then it needs to be guarded against. The hazard needs to next be guarded against. So, for example, maybe if there's a certain amount of pressure put on the shaver, it would automatically shut off as opposed to continue to operate and put it in danger of breaking. And if those two for things can't be done. If you can't design out the hazard, or if you can't protect at, uh, against the hazard, then the third thing that must be done is there must be a warning given about the hazard. The surgeon in this instance should have been given an instant uh, a warning by the manufacturer to not put a certain amount of pressure uh, and warn him that if he did, then the shaver may break. Um, my name is Tony Barada and I hope this has been helpful to you.